Hi, everybody. I'm Ravi Kapoor, along with Adam Lordson from the Mercury News. After Game 2 of the NBA Finals, the Warriors another impressive victory. They now lead the series two games to none. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant dominant all night, and a resurgent Klay Thompson leading the Warriors to victory here in Game 2 as they hold serve here on home court. We expected this to be an intense matchup, and we saw it tonight. Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Steph Curry all had tremendous games at both ends of the court. It was the superstar performances we thought we'd see in this matchup. For the first time in NBA Finals history, both LeBron James and Steph Curry with triple doubles. Never happened before on opposite teams. Kyrie Irving didn't have an impressive performance, but Kevin Love was terrific. It didn't matter, though. The Warriors once again pulled away in the third quarter, kept up the fire in the fourth. And I guess it was just pick your poison tonight, huh, Adam? If you're the Cavs, you have to be worried. They made adjustments. They packed the inside of the lane. They tried to force the Warriors into being more outside shooters, and the Warriors hit their shots. So if you're the Cavs trying to game plan for the Warriors, there are no easy options here. You get an amazing night from LeBron James, an amazing night from Kevin Love, and it really didn't matter that much. And defensively, Klay Thompson, again, outstanding. Kevin Durant, once again, I thought looked really impressive on the defensive side of the ball, which really triggered the offense. The Warriors always say that it begins and ends with their defense, and we saw that tonight. They had a lot of turnovers in the first half. They were sloppy, but because they kept defending throughout the entire game, they were able to consistently stay ahead of the Cavs. It was a 19-point victory for the Warriors, but it was actually a really close game at half, triggered primarily by Warriors turnovers, 13 turnovers in the first half. They only had four in all of game one. Curry reverted to a lot of his one-handed passes, a lot of poor mistakes in traffic. Uh, he redeemed himself, however, in the second half with an incredible offensive performance, a great rebounding performance, doing all the dirty work when the Warriors needed it. Of course, Warriors fans won't be celebrating given the fact that last year this time the Warriors were also up in the same situation, heading to Cleveland, and then Cleveland responded in Game 3. What can the Cavaliers do to, to stem this tide? It's going to be war. You know that Cleveland's going to come out with everything on their home court. They're going to have to try to make more adjustments, find a way to slow down the Warriors' stars. I just don't know if they can do it. LeBron James, impressive once again, but the bench non-existent in this, uh, in this game for the Cavaliers. Uh, Cleveland tried to retool. They tried to find players who could match up better with the Warriors, who could be scorers. They haven't produced so far. The changes haven't worked. Want to note Sean Livingston, double digits tonight. Iguodala had a solid game. Ian Clark off the bench with 10 points. So the Warriors getting contributions off the bench, and of course, I don't think I've seen the big pl uh, three for the Warriors play this well together, despite the fact that Draymond Green was in foul trouble all night long. It was a good homecoming for Steve Kerr, who made his return dramatically to the bench tonight. He's always preached that the Warriors are stronger together with their numbers, their depth. We saw that. Everybody played their role tonight. And Kerr certainly had a different rotation tonight than we've seen from Mike Brown in, in recent games. He was forced to. The foul trouble made him adjust early. Draymond got into some issues. Durant had some foul trouble, but the Warriors persevered through it. Well, the Warriors hold serve. They're up two games to none here in the 2017 NBA Finals. We will head to Quick and Loans Arena for Game 3. We'll see if the Cavaliers can respond. For Adam Lawrence and I'm Ravi Kapoor. We'll see you in Cleveland.